Hey Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our Patch Tuesday security B-release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 for July 2024. And for Windows 10, the update rolled out uh, late yesterday in my part of the world on the 9th of July. And for this month, our Patch Tuesday security update, which rolls out on the second Tuesday of every month, for Windows 10 is KB5040427. And the update is a compulsory mandatory update. So if we just head over to WinVer just to see what that OS build has been bumped up to. So for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is now sitting on 19045.4651 after this update has been applied. Now, the update addresses security issues for the Windows OS. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, for this month, we have 70 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. One of those is a critical vulnerability, which is your highest ranked vulnerability which is listed as Windows Imaging Component Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. And a remote code execution vulnerability is when a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system if you don't patch your system remotely over the internet or over a network. And then we also get 67 important um, vulnerabilities that have been fixed. So 70 vulnerabilities have been fixed in total, one critical, 67 important. So quite an important security update rolling out uh, for the July Patch Tuesday update. Now, as always, the security update includes the quality improvements that were part of this update, KB5039299, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out in the last week of June last month. So if you didn't install this update, these fixes and improvements will be carried over into this update for July. And I did post a whole video on this update if you'd like to get some more info which will be linked down below and in the end screen but uh, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video now first of all um, it addressed a known issue that might occur when you right click some apps and that was um, as mentioned a known issue and what that was all about is basically uh, if you were right clicking on a file after selecting an option from the context menu um, the open with dialog box launched instead of running the selected task and that was a known issue so that has been addressed so that should be fixed if you were experiencing that issue and then uh, the next thing the update did um, was it addressed an issue that affects an app's jump list on the taskbar so what this is all about and in case you're unaware a jump list is if you right click you get your jump lists uh, in that dialog that pops up so when you clicked on an option in the jump list uh, it failed to execute, so that has also been addressed. So two important fixes uh, that rolled out uh, with that update. And just to mention a couple of others, uh, it addresses an issue that affects the default Japanese input method editor and fixes seven other bugs. So uh, it was mainly a bug fix update. So as mentioned, if you didn't install it, those fixes now will be carried over into this update, which is our Patch Tuesday security B-release update for July. And guys, that's more or less what's new. Um, no front-facing features um, that are mentioned by Microsoft uh, in the release notes. And um, that is KB5040427. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.